Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and those are my dogs. <laughs> welcome back to another What's for Dinner. I hope you have had a wonderful week and I hope you get some ill inspiration from this. Um, I will have, who knows, anywhere from four to six recipes. It just depends on if we have leftovers or not. Anyways, I had to get my dogs calmed down, but I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure you mash that bell and turn it on to all. That way you're always notified of everything I post um, and you don't miss any of my yummy and delicious meals. So anyways, without further ado, let's go in and get on in to cooking y'all. Come on, let's go. This evening for dinner, I'm going to be making one of our favorites. It's the Tuscan chicken pasta. I've shared it several times on here. Um, any kind of pasta you want, sun-dried tomatoes, um, chicken breast, uh, baby spinach, uh, Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, garlic, and you will need some butter and a little bit of flour too. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and whip this one up and then I will show you everything once it gets done. Y'all, I've got everything done, so I have the noodles. That's just where I dumped out the water. <laughs> um, I have the chicken, and then I have the um, sauce that's going to go over there. So you have garlic and all of that yumminess in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that over the noodles, and we are going to be ready to eat. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I will bring you back and show you the finished plates. All right, so for this evening's dinner, I wanted to do like a mini Easter dinner. I had to film some other things for another collab, so I just went ahead and went with it, and now we're combining it into a dinner. So I have some green beans here. I made some homemade sourdough um, rolls, and then I have a ham right here that I've already cooked. Here I've got some um, noodles boiling for homemade mac and cheese. And I just put some deviled eggs in the fridge. So that's going to be dinner tonight. Um, I am going to show you how to put our macaroni and cheese together. Um, so right now I just have the noodles boiling. And that should be done soon. And when it does, uh, we're going to come over here. And I have some Monterey Jack Fiesta blend. And still some Colby. And I think that's Monterey Jack too that my kids have mixed around <laughs> some cream cheese and some buttermilk. So whenever the noodles get done, I'll drain it and we'll just mix it and bake it all in the same bowl. These are oven safe. So yeah, that is going to be dinner tonight. So whenever those noodles get done, we'll come back and I'll um, make my macaroni and cheese for you. Okay, so we have our cream cheese in the bowl that I'm going to be using. And right this second, I'm just draining the rest of the noodles to get some of that water off. I don't know if I'll use them all or not. Um, yeah, that'll be good. So I'm gonna let that sit there and kind of warm through that um, cream cheese on the bottom. Um, when that is ready to go, we'll start adding in the buttermilk and all the cheeses. So I'll see you here in just a second. Okay, so once again, my bowl is running over. <laughs> It does, I do this all the time. So I'm just going to leave this aside. I'm still going to bake in this one. So, <clears throat> all right. So I did heat that cream cheese up in the microwave to kind of speed along the process um, since I have everything else for my dinner pretty much ready. Um, so that's all stirred in. Now we're just going to add in, oh, I don't know three quarters of a cup to a cup of buttermilk. 
I just have to look at the consistency of it. And then we're gonna use the first little bit of cheese that was left over from a block. And then the same thing with this um, Monterey Jack here. So it's not much left. We'll take some more Monterey Jack and then some Fiesta Blend. As much cheese as you want. There's no cheese police here. <laughs> we love our cheese. So, as cheesy as you want it, I might add some more um, to the mix. I don't know. I usually do probably about two cups total um, between mixing it in and then putting it on the top when I bake it. So, I think this needs a little bit more buttermilk. And then we're going to go grab our seasonings real quick. So give me just a second. All right, so to this, since we have our cheeses and the buttermilk and everything in it, we're just going to hit it with a little bit of nature seasoning and also some Badia Complete. If y'all have never tried this, it is amazing. I love that seasoning. So now I'd have to say my three favorite seasonings would be Cavenders, that Badia Complete and Nature Seasoning, but I'm out of Cavenders. <sighs> And it's hard to find up here. <laughs> okay, so I have that mixed in. I'm gonna go ahead and get my baking dish and get it baking. All right, so this is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I sprayed the baking dish before my dog started barking. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pour it on in there. Now you wanna make sure you scrape all of that goodness out of that bowl because you need all that flavor. All that goodness and then we just go ahead and just pack it down a little bit not much just kind of smooth out the top <clears throat> and we'll just mix the cheeses again so we're just gonna go ahead and take both cheeses to put on the top so a little bit of the Monterey and a little bit of the Fiesta Now, I know a lot of people do like the breadcrumb topping on top of it, but my boys don't tend to like it that way. So, this is ready to go into the oven. So, when everything's done, I'll bring you back and show you the finished plates. All right, so here's everything finished. We have our green beans. We have our rolls, the mac and cheese, deviled eggs, and this gorgeous looking ham right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything plated up, and then I'll show you here in just a little bit. So this evening for dinner, we're taking it nice and easy, and we are going to make some frozen pizzas. This um, the Kroger brand, self-rising, and these are the three meat. So I'm going to be making both of these, and whatever is left over, it'll either be for tomorrow's lunch, um, either here or at work. So I will bring y'all back when all of these are done and when I get them ready on the plates. All right, y'all, I have both pizzas out of the oven they are all cooked up and looking so 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 yummy <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get these cut up and get them on a plate and we just serve them with ranch um like i said quick and easy dinner for this evening
Hey, hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday, I believe. <laughs> I can't even remember anymore. But tonight for dinner, we're going to make some mini cheese ravioli. And I'm just going to make a meat sauce. So I have some 93.7 here. I have a jar of roasted garlic and herb pasta sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and brown my meat up, add my sauce to it. And then I'm going to boil these as well. So um, once I get everything started, I will show you before I get to plate it up what it looks like. So I'll see y'all here in just a few. So I just made some um, toast. I had some sourdough bread that I had sliced up that I made. And I'm just going to use that for our garlic bread this evening. So that is ready to go into the oven. We do have our sauce made right here. It's just the ground beef and then the um, prego. Um, pasta sauce so that is there and then I'm waiting on these to finish cooking the rest of the way they're almost all floating so I'll go ahead and drain those and then we're just going to add the meat sauce to it and serve it up so I will bring you back when we get ready to plate the food up I just wanted to kind of check in with y'all so see you here in a bit Happy Thursday, y'all. <laughs> Getting ready to make dinner. So we are finally going to have our pigs in the blanket. I've got a crescent dough sheet here. I don't know if I'll need the full packs. You know, both of these are not. Probably with the boys. <laughs> but anyways, I got the beef little smokies. And then I have the dough sheet, like I just said. And then we're going to make some crinkle cut fries. Because I asked them if they wanted baked beans and mac and cheese to go with this. They said no. They wanted fries. So we're going to have pigs in a blanket and french fries for dinner tonight. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, get these wrapped up. It actually shows them here on the front. Kind of funny. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to just cut these into like little bitty strips and just kind of wrap a section around and get those on a bacon dish, bacon sheet. And get these on a baking sheet and then i will bring y'all back here in a little bit and kind of show you where we're at and then we'll put them in the oven to bake and then i'll show you the finished plates okay so here are the pan of the um pigs in a blanket i just sprinkled them with a little bit of the bedia complete i do have the fries on this pan but i do have probably about a half a bag um left over so what i'm gonna do is just cook those in a little bit of barbecue sauce and somebody can have those on the side too if they want them. So I'm gonna get a pot out to cook those. Yeah, I think that'll be good. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, maybe I could freeze them, but I think I'm just gonna go on and cook those. So I'm just gonna go put those in a little pan. I'm gonna put both of these um, in the oven and then I will bring you back to show you everything once it's done. All right, so here are the finished pigs in a blanket. They look pretty daggone good if I do say so myself. And the fries, which also look really good. <laughs> and then as far as dipping sauces go, we have Sweet Baby Ray's a Barbecue Original. We have Honey Mustard. We have the Chick-fil-A sauce, which is probably what I'm going to go for. And of course, our ketchup up probably for the fries. I know that, but some people might only want that. But anyways, I think we might each have a sauce for ourselves. <laughs> but this is probably going to be the one I'm using. I don't know. My youngest will probably use honey mustard. My oldest might do barbecue sauce, but I know he's going to do ketchup. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this plated up and I will bring you back shortly. All right, my friends, that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, comment below, and make sure you subscribe to me and mash that bell and set it to all so you're always notified every time I post a new video. Until next time, my friends, God bless. Bye.